Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Dunbar Snack Bar, and it is time for some more NCAA football, or at least the college football mod for Madden. I really want to thank you guys for the requests that keep coming in for rivalries. It is awesome to see what you guys want me to play. This one comes from James Benbrook, who wrote ASU U of A, but play as ASU. So, as you guys know, for these rivalries, I like to play as both teams, so we're going to start off here playing as Arizona, and then in the next matchup, James, I am playing as Arizona State, so make sure you guys come back for that one. Also, you guys have been really awesome in recommending College Football Revamped. I'm really taking a look at that one and might do something with that here in the near future. But, I don't know, I kinda wanna wait a little bit because I don't think they have Army done and you guys know that that's the team that I like to do for my uh, coaching carousel. So, I don't know. I'll have to wait on I still got the PS3. I still got my NCAA 14 disc. So I could play that anytime. And with college football revamped, you know, with it being updated and everything, it just seems awesome. But anyway, you guys don't care about that right now. You guys are here to watch Arizona and Arizona State. The duel in the desert. And things are not going too well for me here to start this game off. Three for four, as you can see from Daniels. And it seems like that for me, the game is always dictated by how well I stop the pass. Usually do a good job at stopping the run. Of course, I show that on a highlight where they pick up five yards, um, but it's really all about what happens with the pass. Now, good stop right there on third down. He's gonna be short. Gonna be looking at fourth and one. He's also gonna punch Andy Reid in the face. Ugh. Well, at least I know what team uh, Arizona State is. Good to know. Anyway, they'll get the field goal, so I'll be down three to nothing here to start off the game. Honestly, I feel mediocre about how that first drive went for me defensively. Yeah, we did end up in a field goal. Could have been a lot worse, but honestly, the way that the passing game was going, I felt like that they completed a lot more passes than they should have. So I'll try to mix some things around until I find the right type of pass defense that I think will work here. Now, as far as passing goes, I'm going to be trying to do quite a bit of that this game. Not going to try to do anything really too fancy. No deep passes downfield. I'll just keep them short or medium range like that one right there. I was really hesitant actually about throwing it to the left side. I thought the defender was going to come around and make the pick. But I think I got lucky right there. Speaking of passing, we're going to let go of that for a little bit. Go with the run. Pretty good pickup right there on second and ten. I am, oh, I thought I was going to get sacked right there. Whew. I was so lucky. Had me almost by the shoestrings. Third and six, going to roll out to the right side since I figured I'd have some green in front of me. Obviously, not the fastest quarterback here in the game, but I'll take that 12-yard pickup and be perfectly happy with it. We go with another pass up the middle and just trying to run towards the end zone as quickly as I can to pick up as many yards as I can. But here on first and goal at the six yard line, getting some time and really able to thread the needle with the defenders to be able to get that catch in the end zone for the first touchdown, not only for Arizona, but just for the game. So we'll be up seven to three after that one. I feel like right there, that, that's like those old school Madden practices where they make you throw inside the rings as the receiver's moving along. Just making sure you get the timing down just right. Not bad. All right, let's see if Arizona State's gonna be able to keep things going right here. Uh, flag right there and the timing makes me think it's going to be a face mask and I'm right. So we just gave him an extra 15 yards. Really appreciate that, buddy. Oh, wow, 45 yard line. Dang. All right. Not a great stop right there for me either. Seems like Arizona State's continuing to keep this momentum going, but hopefully that flag right there, which will be a false start on Arizona State, is what's going to slow them up and allow me to really get some things going defensively. Yeah, that's not too bad. Just a three-yard pickup. Now third and 11 gives me a pretty good chance at being able to to stop him right here. Getting a lot of time. This is the first tackle, second one too, but the third one finally brings him down. Fourth and three at the 37 yard line. Going for the field goal, 
get a good jump, dive for it. They miss, but the flag on the play is going to be roughing the passer. Going back, watching that, I'm like, I really didn't have any chance <laughs> trying to block it. But I don't know. It just seems like, you know, not not adrenaline, but but something's flowing right there. Where I'm just not thinking straight, figuring I might be able to get something. But what would have been a missed field goal turns into a big play. Now, that time I predicted the run up the middle, called it in the pre-play, went with the blitz. Turns out to be the right call. Here we go on second and goal. I didn't think that they were going to run. Still went with the blitz and a touchdown for Arizona State. All right, down 10 to 7 now. 619 left to go here in the first half. This game's been pretty close early on. Something's going to have to change if I really want to break away. Oh, man, nobody even blocked him. Just able to make it right on through. Well-timed blitz by Arizona State. Hey, here we go. Nice catch on the left side on second and 20. It becomes third and seven out of that, or after that 13 yard pickup. Let's see what we can get going here. Hey, that's way more than seven yards. Happy about that one. I've only missed one pass so far. It's not bad, a little play action right here. Ooh. There is a couple open receivers. It seemed to be the right call. Fortunately, able to make that catch. We're gonna go with a little screen pass to my halfback. Some great blocking right there. Gets me the opening I need to get into the end zone. And that's the stuff I love seeing. There's been way too many times, whether it's playing Madden, the old NCAA football, or anything like that, when you just get bad blocks. Or just things that just don't make sense, where you're like, oh my gosh. There totally could have been a block right there. It's those times when it just works out. I just absolutely love it. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm, I'm the odd one here. I just love seeing those amazing blocks that set up those big plays. Now, at this point, I figure Arizona State's going to be passing the ball quite a bit. Ooh, nice sack right there. Yeah, I know that they're going to be wanting to get, get into the end zone here, but... Made some good calls there offen or, uh, defensively. That was a bad call for the offense. Of course, they're going to be blitzing. Because I'm just trying to run down the clock, really. I want to be able to have a lot of time. But I think if I play this really well, I still might be able to get some big points here. Fortunately for me, it doesn't pan out, though. Wasn't able to get that conversion on third down. Same thing as the previous drive with Arizona State. Probably a lot of passes. So second and 12. A deep one. Jump up for that one. A user pick, which is something you guys know I don't really do that much. I love to play on the defensive line and really try and get those sacks. So me switching like that and making the interception was a little bit of a rush for me because it really doesn't happen too much. Learn my lessons after the last drive. I'm not going to try and run the ball. We're going to try and score here with some passes. Just waiting a little bit. Oh, great timing. I gotta give myself a little bit of a pat on the back here, I feel like. Timing's been pretty good. 50 seconds left, and the sack comes in. Man, third and 18. Don't make me kick a field goal. Get me the touchdown. I've got two timeouts left, so plenty of time. Oh, lucky catch. Falls in the end zone. Big touchdown. Now, not too much happens before we reach the end of the half. So, going into the locker room, every single category is in my favor. And I feel like the 21 to 10 score that we've got here semi resembles what's going on. I'm probably not going to change anything offensively. It seems like what I've been doing here has been working. And some changes that I made to defense, too, just kind of going more of a zone defense seems to be working well but i do want to keep it mixed up rolling out to the right great pass well timed and a big pickup at the 39 yard line little delay here when it comes to handing it off that was designed i lose a couple yards on that one now it's the third and 12. oh flag on the play right there holding probably Let's take a look, see what it is. 
penalties have been killing me today, guys. Oh, that is absolutely frustrating. Now, third and 22. Hold your block a little bit longer, man. Please. I was really about ready to throw the ball right there. Fourth and 34. That's embarrassing. No other way to put it than that. Giving him a lot of time. Swat away there on third and 10. So at least we got a three and out for Arizona State there. Hey, here we go. Oh, I was hoping to try and bait him into that block as well. Honestly, if I hadn't run out of bounds right there, I think I would have been looking at a touchdown. I got a little cocky right there. You know, every time I've been throwing it to the left on that play. Yeah, really cocky. Go with the jet sweep. When do I do that? Pretty rarely. Eight yard pickup. Don't worry, guys. I won't make a habit of it. Hey, there we go. Great catch. Get into the end zone. Another touchdown for Arizona. We really have been pulling away here. 28-10, 3-11 to go in the third quarter. I mean, this is still a game that Arizona State can get back into, so I'm not going to rest on my laurels right here and figure I've got this one in the bag. But, hey, everything's feeling pretty good right now about how this is going. So we'll try and keep it up. Ah, but then I saw their completion percentage too. All right, not everything is hunky-dory. They keep that up. We're going to be looking at some more touchdowns. All right. I, I cannot be overconfident here. Flag on the play. What was that? Holding. Holding. Sweet. I always get worried I'm going to do something stupid like rough in the passer. I mean, heck, I've already had rough in the kicker today. Another big pickup for Arizona State right there. A terrible time, too. I wonder what their third down conversion rating or uh, percentage is right here. Oh, we knock it loose. And we recover it. All right. Hey, get a fantastic drive. Put some great passes together. There's some great plays all around. But just fumble it. Make it all for nothing here. Sweet. And just taking a look at that replay, too, it's not going to get challenged. And there really isn't anything to challenge. All right, deep pass. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. I should have gone up for an aggressive one, but instead I pressed catch and run. So I get the fumble, and then I intercept or throw an interception. So Arizona State has the ball back. Just a little, I don't know, little gift to them. Anyway, third and 11, incomplete pass makes it fourth and 11. At the 38 yard line, they choose to punt. I don't know if it has anything to do with the last time, you know, with that field goal. Granted, that was roughing the kicker, but they missed it. Maybe they weren't going to try it again. Third and one, and welcome to the fourth quarter. Seven minutes and 30 seconds left to go. We're going to fumble the ball. A lot of turnovers here in the second half. Frustrating. All right. Well, Arizona State's got some great field position. We'll try and string some things together. I wouldn't be surprised if they get a touchdown here. Hey, off to the right side. At least he fell over. Honestly, if he would have stayed up since I overshot him with the defender, could have picked up some good yardage there. But I guess they don't need it. Just going with these consistent passes here. I mean, I'm not going to stop it. Third and three. Nope. Same thing. So many things I try and do to cover the middle like that. You know, going with man-to-man. -man, a lot of the times with zone, they're going to get in right underneath where the defender is. It's really, really hard to stop that. All right, third and four. Get some time. There they go on the slant. Arizona State, just like that, is way back into this. Now, even if they go for two, though, they're still going to be 10 points down. It's just a... Well, now it's an 11-point difference here. Ah, another sack. Man, my offensive line has really crumbled here in the fourth quarter. 
I really can't keep anybody going. I'm going to be watching that left side. Oh, well played. All right, never mind. Oh, he missed the sack. Frantic throw. I'm so glad I changed up his route to go with that slant. Because just taking a look real quick and him being open, he was in the right position. I really dodged a bullet right there. I should have been sacked. I... I would honestly have been really livid though. Because, <laughs> yeah, offensive line isn't doing crap. Here I go trying to run the ball. Same thing. Granted, I think it was just a blitz from that side. Third and 15. Just hold him back here for a little bit. Hey, there we go. Same thing on that catch. Just trying to get across the first down marker. Not trying to do anything too fancy except just pick up those yards. Keep it up, though. Seems to be working. Timeouts are being called by Arizona State. I've still got all of mine left, but I'm not going to try and really use them right here. But I'm also trying to run out the clock. That's the last one here. Third and four for Arizona. Yeah, I could just throw to B. Should have thrown to B. Waiting for something to materialize in the end zone. And Oh, dang it. Dang it. Mm. Yep. I did not have a stable aim on that one. And then, of course, releasing the power icon too early. Yeah, that's a miss. I can't remember the last time I had a miss at this range. Terrible play by me right there. 58 seconds left to go. Arizona State with the ball at the 20-yard line. Dang, that is a pickup. 25 yards. Don't keep doing that, please. Though they are out of timeouts, so in these situations here where they're just throwing it to the middle, time is just running. They're going with the hurry-up offense, but it's not going to be enough. Like with that, what? It's a seven-second rundown? Hey, there we go. Arizona is going to win this one. This was a blast. I'm really looking forward to the next one. We'll be playing as Arizona State, so make sure you guys come back for that one. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the game, if you've got rivalries that you want to see, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I really wanted to do the Nebraska-Oklahoma matchup that's being played this week. You guys know I'm from Nebraska, so that one kind of stands out. But I want to make sure I went with what you guys uh, wanted to see, and I'll continue to do that. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe, like the video, check out Patreon. You guys know the drill there. But appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.